practice makes permanent. But if you are consistently practicing the wrong thing, you're gonna be building so many different faults into your game. So in this session, I'm gonna give you three exercises. I'm basically gonna take you maybe six minutes a day to practice and we're gonna work on how you can start to perfect how the body moves in the golf swing. Secondly, we're gonna how you how do your arms work in the golf swing so you can start to return that club back to impact consistently each and every single time. And finally, how do you make sure that this club squares at the golf ball every single time? You need to develop consistent exercises, drills, to train the fields. Once you do this, you'll become much, much more consistent. That's what we're gonna share with you in this week's video lesson. So before I get started, though, look, if you're new to the channel, this is your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. I release videos just like this every single week to try and help you improve your game. Plus, I always put a free download or practice guide in the description box below where you've got a chance to get a free lesson from me. Plus, you never have to remember a thing. So as you can probably tell, I'm out here at Pete Cowan's Golf Academy in Dubai, and what I'm gonna give you is three exercises that he uses with all his players to really perfect the movement in the goal swing. The wonderful thing about them is, is no matter your age or ability, everyone can do this, and it will really help you to consistently get that club going back to the golf ball. And it's not gonna take a lot of time. Like I said, just six minutes a day will be absolutely fine. Now, the first thing I want you to do is this. If you wanna be consistent, we want to be able to move the body in such a way that makes it easier for you to return the club back to the same point every single time. Most of the time, people are moving off the ball, they're either swaying backwards and forwards or, or they've misinterpreted turn and they're moving over here and they don't know how to feel this motion. So the first drill that Pete Cowan um, loves, absolutely loves this one, is the wide stance drill. Get yourself into a really, really wide stance here. Really feel your hamstrings being pulled back. So your arms are literally, allow your arms just to fall out in front of you here. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna really feel a very centered pivot. All I want you to do from here is take your trail hip here and start to pull it backwards and up. So you really feel like a little bit of a stretch here. Okay, so you really feel it stretching. Now as it's stretching, notice how my body look is starting look to spiral upwards into this corner. Whilst at the same time, what do you notice about my center? My head look is staying very much here. If I'd have turned my hips level, where's my head now? So over here. So by pulling this trail hip back and up, I'm able look, to start to feel the stretch across my body in this diagonal fashion all the way to the top. And just feeling this motion is a great start, okay? It's a really, really good start to feeling how the body works. Now, once you've done that, the next thing I want you to do is take your trail hand, uh, arm, just put it at a 90 degree angle here. Now, that is what Pete would call a loaded shoulder. From here, simply, I like, I like to use a dumbbell exa example. I'm just gonna do a bicep curl up here while simultaneously pulling this trail hip back. That's all I'm gonna do. And now I'm getting a sensation, a stretch across my body, feeling there, and what do you notice? Almost, there's almost like a straight line from my lead leg all the way up my body to my trail arm. That is what we're after. It's almost like a javelin throwing downwards to the ground here, great image. So spend some time feeling this motion in your garden, at home, really feeling that stretch. And then all you do is, is you gradually bring, widen, do it with a golf club, really widen the stance, really feel that stretch up of the trail hip, the, almost the, the, um, the back's going behind you here. You're winding it up here and I've got that lovely, lovely stretch. If you don't have flexibility, just simply go to here. Spend some time doing that, then go back to a fairly standard stance. Imagine the same principle, really stretching there and getting that feeling of staying nice and centered. And once you're ready, maybe start hitting some golf balls, but don't rush into this. Just doing the exercises alone, get some muscle memory into the memory banks. And you'll start to strike some beauties just like that. Let's move on to exercise number two. Exercise number two is one of my personal favorites. It's a lead arm exercise. So you've got the loading up of the body, the winding up here where the head's nice and centered, but the body's still coiling up to the top of the swing. Now what you want to do, you've loaded the body, you want to start to load the shoulders. So a lot of times people don't do this. What they're doing is, is their arms are going simply going across the body here, the, body, the lower shoulders are just going round and around. What I want you to do is if you feel this muscle here and we start to kind of raise it upwards, you'll feel the muscle almost kind of rotating and loading up there. Well, now it's kind of coiled. What's it gonna to wanna to do? 
it's going to want to unload. So you start to get the downswing for free. Super, super valuable. So if I load this muscle up, look at this. I've just simply wind it up, just as I've done with the body. Look, I'm loading the muscle up. That muscle's loaded, I can't turn it anymore this way. It's gonna to want to settle straight back down into here, which then, look, gives me my snap. So what I wanna do is very different to this, round and around. This is what I call the drag. This is here, you get stuck, ball flies out to the right, flippy shots, all kinds of stuff. But if I'm loading the muscle up here, and then sit that muscle straight back down, the club is going straight back down to impact. So do this exercise repeatedly. Really feel how the muscle loads, and then look, unloads, and then load it back to here to return back to the same spot every single time. And then once you've done that once or twice, really then start to let it go. One, load it up, back down, and fire through. I adapt this drill, um, if you're a slicer of the golf ball, Add a little bit of a step into this, so load it up, step to your right for right-handers, and fire. What this does is it helps you to get the club on the inside as you're doing it, and fire through. If you find that you hug the golf ball, that's my tendency, wind it up, and I'll step more to the left-hand side. This gets my left shoulder working down and left. But the key factor here is, is by loading the shoulder, really loading up, you get the downswing for free. If it's not loaded here, it's going to wave all over the place. So I really love this one. So spend some time, develop the feel so your body can start to remember this. So I load my shoulder up here, let it settle back down. Look, it returns back to where it started here. I learn that sensation and away we go. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So you've loaded the body, you've loaded the arms. Let's show you now how you start to kind of square back club face up. So I really love how simple these things are and I know they're gonna help. So the third exercise is no different. It's gonna really help you, again, improve the quality of your compression with your shots of the fair. It's gonna really improve your accuracy. And it's Pete Cowan's tennis ball drill. Wonderful, love this exercise. So what I want you to do is just take a ball, hold it in the fingers of your hand here and take your normal stance. And I want you to imagine you've now got the body working up. You've got the sensation of this right angle with your trail arm here. And I want you to practice throwing a ball right down towards the middle part of your stance here. Now, when people do this for the first time, they naturally do what they do in the golf swings, which makes them inconsistent. They simply do this. They either sling it down like this, or if they're slicers, they sling it down like this. They're slinging the arm, it's completely out of control, and that's not what we're after. What I want you to have is I want you to have this free throw, but I want it to be naturally coordinated. So notice the difference here. I want the ball to simply, there's no rushing or, it's a calm motion. I want the ball to almost fall out of your hand as my trail shoulder is working underneath it's not just slung there can you see this and what this does is it keeps a, what we call the power line between the sh uh, trail shoulder the hip and the knee all the way through most people are never like this most people are here slinging slinging over the top so in the fingers of the hand swing it back and simply just throw it all the way down and really sense that lovely it's just beautiful it flies straight if you're anything like me, I might sometimes fall backwards. If I do that, this is my hook swing, now the ball will get thrown out to the right hand side. If you're a slicer, you might do this, swing over the top, great. Now you have some feedback. So spend some time and look at this here. Can you see the angle of my hand here? That's that beautiful compression. It's falling out of my hand, not slinging it, it's falling out of my hand as I swing through. I take that sensation. Look, these exercises with some repetition are just wonderful at developing just great feel. Spending like, like I say, hours on a golf course, building bad habits in is just a waste of time for most people, which is why most people don't really improve. But now I've got that tennis analogy here. I can feel it here. And all I'm gonna do is there's, there I'm throwing, look, that tennis ball, notice the difference. Look at the natural compression I've got here. I'm releasing that tennis ball through and I've got amazing compression. Okay, let's have a look at this in action. Wind it up and give it an absolute rip.
get that sensation. So three really simple exercises I want you to do, far better than spending hours and hours on a golf course. So if you love this video, you're gonna absolutely love this one. This is what I'd watch after you've watched this one. Like big thank you to Pete Cowan Academy for allowing me to practice here. Join the channel if you haven't already, but until next week, have a wonderful golfing week.